Friday the 13th today. Now normally Friday the 13th is not a bad day. Not a bad day. Actually it was a good day. It all depends on how you look at it. Eh? <sighs> Having a scotch here. Uh, so anyways, I went downtown today. I mean, I'm a hermit. Eh? I uh, really don't like going out. Plain and simple, I really don't like going out. Don't know why. I mean, I used to be an adventurer, for sure. Hitchhiked all over the place. You know, I, man, done lots of things. Eh? But anyways, now I don't like going out. So, anyways, I went to uh, the junk store, the thrift store, eh? and uh, found a new one. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a shout out. What the heck was his, their name? Said, uh, a liquidation type place, eh? I'll, I'll do a commercial for them. There's can't be there. Anyways, they're in Cantaloupe, say on uh, uh, on Tronquille, eh, in the old district. There, actually, they're in the old right beside the old Tim Hortons. Uh, yeah, across the street from the pet place. Cool. Go check check them out. He's a Scottish guy too. Hey. So, anyway, uh, what did I get there? I can't show you. It's a present. Just in case they see. But while I was at the junk store, I found a whole bunch of. Oh man, uh, I got. Uh, it was one was 99 cents and the other was a dollar 49. But ended up with a whole bag full of this stuff. You know, I have I have no idea what to use it for. Eh? But I mean, 55 cents each eh, for each of these little bags. Some were two bucks a piece. But anyway, so these ones are all little black seedy things on the end of actually there's two of them looks like they're for flower making but kind of hard to tell hey but anyways they're little black seedy things anyways they're kind of cool so what i'm going to do with a lot of this stuff let's see if i've got my tool here that i can show you grass, stick them in your terrain. That'll look really cool, like grass. Basically what the thing is, you know, what I was looking for, I'll show you. If there's something else here. You, you have a needle, and you bust the eye eye of the needle in half, eh? So it gives you something like that, you know, you bust, bust the eye in half, eh? So, pretend this is a needle, okay? And you take your thingy like this, eh, and put it in that groove, and then when you poke it into the foam, right, this will poke down into the foam, just pull the needle out, and leaves your grassy things standing up in your foam. Eh? Then you just a little drop of white glue, watered down white glue, and a little bit of flocking on top of it, and you're left with cool little grass things. At least these ones are black, these ones are yellow. There were some other ones in here that are, were kind of white and reddy type flowers. There's and how much are these? 45 cents. But there's a whole bunch of bags of these. Weird pine coney type thingy, see? They got speckles on them. They look kind of like. Actually, they look kind of like coconut tea type thingy, see? Either way, they're kind of kind of cool. Oh, they're hollow. I didn't notice that. Either way, uh, I was actually thinking on doing them on, on the palm trees, eh? Put them underneath and, and uh, paint them up, and man, they, they would look just like coconuts underneath there. That's really cool. Just have to wire them on. Yeah, that's cool. I'll probably end up doing that with a bunch of these. But yeah, a whole bag of this shit for a bunch of these things. Weird black flowery thingies, eh? Man, the guy could just stick those all over the game turny type thing, and that would look like, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyways, anytime you see stuff like that, pick it up. Especially if it's only a couple bucks or, you know, a buck or something like that. Uh, this is cool. These are there, there too, eh? Kurt Schilling in his Arizona uh, uh, Series 3 McFarland toy, say. For 16 bucks at Sears back then. I got it for 3 bucks. Pretty good deal, three bucks, eh? Ivan Rodriguez, ooh, series one. That's pretty cool. 
and he's pretty good, man. Well, I think it's pretty good. Series one. I would have liked to have the Ichiro, but oh, I can clutch Ichiro a bit. Pujol would have been good too, but man, Ivan Rodriguez for three bucks, Series one, two thousand and two. So that's seven years ago, eh? shopping at junk stores but anyways what I'm telling you about it is Friday the 13th right so downtown and I don't venture out much eh? so I'm downtown and it's you know it's kind of highway speed so it's 50 miles an hour 80k eh? coming back uh, just got onto our street and it's winter time so I mean it's all kind of snow heaves and shit like that hey because they really don't plow our streets uh, so I, I get onto our street, so I'm down now at 30k, you know, 25 miles an hour, something like that. And the friggin', uh, uh, what is it called? The suspension arm, man. Eh? It's like the, you know, the tie rod, you know, busts off on the car, eh? So the wheel goes, and I just, wah, across, across the road. I would have gone into oncoming lane had I been onto the highway. Uh, Anyways, yeah, I just into this guy's front yard, eh? Just past his driveway, so at least it didn't block his driveway. Yeah. The old lady's car, too, eh? Jeez. So now I've got to figure it out. Yeah, I'm having a scotch here. For a day, and we're fine. And got it home. Ugh. So, anyways, at least it happened just down the street. So I walked down there and I, you know, got a jack and jacked up the front end of the car and put the drive axle back into the transmission because it ripped all that shit out too eh? got that lined up wiggled the wheel until that fit back in there and then uh, the suspension bar and this uh, stabilizer suspension arm thing they're all attached eh? so you got jacked up well then it's under pressure type thingy eh? but she had a shovel in the back so I used the shovel <laughs> underneath her and <laughs> pried, pried down this bar eh? and managed to get the the ball joint, hey, lined up, hey, uh, and then just popped it in together, hey, and uh, used some uh, tie wire, some, you know, wire, hey, and just wired it together so that it wasn't going to fall apart and drove it the, uh, the half a block back to the house here. <laughs> so now it's out in the carport, and I'm about to go out and uh, check out the damage, but uh, for a Friday the 13th, not bad. Man. 30 seconds before and I was doing, you know, 80k on the road, <sighs> would have gone right into oncoming lane, and as it is, it happened on a nice icy stretch, so there wasn't a heck of a lot of resistance, you know, as soon as the wheel did that, it just slid on the ice, and I mean, the steering wheel jerked right out of my hand, so I knew what was going on, you, just, you know, hit the binders, and, but, Saki, Saki. Yeah, so hard to say. Hard to say whether or not uh, Friday the 13th is lucky. Lucky or unlucky. Found some really cool shit for real cheap. Six, what was that? Six bucks, seven and a half bucks, under ten bucks. There, I got a whole bunch of crap now to play with. Uh, found a new store. Yeah, a liquidation type store. Really cool. With an old Scotsman that's running it. So if you're in Kamloops, go down to Tronkeel and check that place out. It's right across from the pet place uh, by the Tim Hortons. Can't miss it. Big liquidation. <laughs> Just past Surplus Herbies if you're coming from town. Just before Surplus Herbies if you're, you're heading from my end. The car accident you think could have been worse. Could have been worse even though that's our only vehicle. That sucks. That sucks. So, anyways, what was your Friday the 13th story? <laughs> well, I did it again, okay, so I just did a whole, whole show there with the, the camera off. <laughs> uh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, so I'll try to remember <laughs> what it was I was talking about working on these palm trees and uh, 
this one here. I've just got some wire I found. 